Hello and welcome to Quirky Cat Crafts. This is Sherry and I have some good news and bad news for you guys. Um, the good news is I got some more tiles made last night. The bad news is apparently I double tapped the record button. So it only recorded one second of the hour that I spent um, stamping some images out and coloring them with the mica powders. So unfortunately, um, the actual coloring of the tiles, I'm not going to be able to show you on this project, but don't worry. That will be, I'm sure, part of many, many, many projects I do in the future. So, um, but I did want to go ahead and show you how they came out. So, um, these first ones are, um, I did on the gold clay and we've got, um, the shoes, the gloves, the visor, the sunglasses, and then three golf balls. And then, like I said, I colored them in with the mica powders and I'll seal them um, or varnish them um, before I put them on the piece just to make sure that the mica powders don't rub off. I mean, they it seals pretty well when you bake, but um, when I do coloring with the mica powders, I like to make sure I varnish and, um, and make sure that they're protected. So those are those tiles on the gold clay. And then... I'm going to stand up and zoom out a little bit. Nope, that's in. Okay. And then these are the ones that I did on the light blue pearl clay. So make sure I'm in the shot. Yep, we're good. Okay. So we've got golf club, the pin, there's a like the green, a golfer, and then the golf bag with the clubs in it. Um, these three are good as is. So I'm going to go ahead and take those out of the shot. And on these two, what I want to do is go in and do like a black line, like that it was stamped um, to kind of differentiate between the blue and the green. And... Well, and of course I can't find what I'm looking for. Hang on, guys. Seriously. You know what's really funny is the video I did last night, I actually debated whether I was even going to post it because I was so tired that I wasn't really happy with what I was saying. But then fate or the craft gods or whatever took the choice out of my hands by making sure it didn't record so so yeah I'm just going to use a, a sharpie fine point and I'm not sure how this is going to come out because I've never done it before we're going to give it a go here and just kind of do a little line like that Yeah, that's good. And on this guy. There we go. Easy peasy. All right, so that's those. And like I said, I'll give those a coat of varnish here in a little bit. Um, the other thing I'm going to do on this video, which is part three of the golf themed mosaic, by the way, I'm going to move my cutting board because I don't need that at the moment. Because I want to color these guys that we did the other day. So, I have a set of markers that I got off of Amazon. Um, they're just called Quick Craft Art Marker Alcohol Based. And I got them because they have a thick point and a, a thin point. So they're double-sided. And um, so I pulled out a couple of blues, a light blue and a dark blue. A couple of greens, a light green and a dark green. Um, a gray. Um, flesh tone for the people. And then... This is called putty. It's kind of a yellow-brown color. I don't know. And then like a, a another yellow that's kind of almost gold. 
So those are the colors that I pulled. And the first one I want to do is Mr. Golf Cart. And because he's got this diamond pattern on his golf shirt, and I kind of wanted to look at the sticker and decide, because I kind of want it, it doesn't need to match perfectly, but I kind of want it. Hmm. I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and do his face and stuff, and then we'll go from there. So. All right. And my head's probably going to get in the shot. I'm sorry. And color his nose. I can hear my quirky cats. They are having a conniption fit because I haven't gone downstairs yet. So they haven't got their canned food that they prefer. So they may come up here to ask me what's the hold up. So you might hear them. Okay, and his hands and his arms. Whoop, there's a hair. Cat hair. What a surprise. So yeah, the video I did last night was, it was like I couldn't even think. And, and I knew better than to try and do a video, to be honest. But I wanted to try and get one up for you guys, so I forced myself and, and... It's kind of along the same lines of when you force yourself to craft when you're not in the mood. It just doesn't come out the way you want. So, all right. So, there's his flesh tone. And should we give him gray hair? I think we should. I think he needs to have gray hair. And do the golf gloves with the gray. And this is kind of doing the smoke, the exhaust. You know, doesn't need to be perfectly like filled in. The bumpers should be gray. Okay, and I think we're going to do the diamonds in the dark green. Why not? And what do you think, you guys, the stripe too? I think so. Oop, almost went out of the line a little bit there. Now there's people out there that can take these alcohol ink markers and they do like blending and shading and all of that kind of stuff. I am not that talented. So, I just don't have that, that level of, of talent. So, I think his pants are going to be dark blue. Is that a seatbelt? I think that might be a seatbelt. I'm not sure. Do they have seatbelts in golf carts? Does anybody know? Because I sure don't know. Never been in a golf cart. So. I'm trying to decide if the cuffs need to be a different color.
and decided. I think this is a seatbelt, so we're going to do it gray. The way he's driving, I think he probably needs a seatbelt. And then we've got this light blue that I think we're going to make his shirt the light blue. And I think we're going to go with the wedge side on this. Wow, that is a really light blue. Okay, there we go. It is an incredibly light blue. I like it though. I think I want to do is have the dark blue. I like his hat. Makes me think of my grandfather. There we go. All right. Kind of feeling like this needs to be yellow. I don't know you guys I'm really bad about like I don't sit here and plan it out and make a list and say okay this is definitely going to be this color or this color I just I don't know I just don't just kind of wing it just kind of go with it you think the cuff of his pants should be green or the light blue. I think the light blue. I think you guys are right. Yep, you guys are right. I'm going to use this putty color. Wrong side. For parts of his shoe. All right. So just need to do the golf bag and the golf cart. I don't know. I'm going to set that one aside. I don't know what colors I want to do on the golf cart and the golf bag. So we're going to set him aside for now. And let's do this guy. And yeah, this one's going to be simpler. Not a whole lot going on here. Blue pants. Yeah, he did not stamp very well at all. We may not end up using him on the project. We'll see. I think we're going to do blue on the hat, too. Yeah, his, this impression is way deep. So... I just don't know. This one was a hot mess from the beginning. Remember that the stamp stuck to the clay. And then I wasn't sure if I was going to fit the words in there. So. 
I don't know. I'll probably end up using him. But yeah, this is wow. Huh. I say that and then I'm looking at it going, eh, I'm not sure. I don't even think I want to color anything else on there because I think we're going to call that good just like that. Set him aside. And we got the lady. The lady golfer. So we're going to get her arms and legs and face done. You could also paint these with, um, sorry, my nose was just itching, um, like Craftsmart, or like Craftsmart, um, like acrylic paint, craft paint. You could totally do that, break out your paintbrushes, and I'm just not that good at it, so I'm more of a color with crowns and markers kind of person, so. All right. Gonna do the skirt in the light blue. And because this is the white pearl clay as opposed to just regular straight white clay, you kind of get a little bit of a pearl effect with the markers when you color. And the same thing happens with the mica powders. Kind of gives you more. I mean, that's essentially what the pearl is, is the mica powders. And it's just mixed into the clay. Should we do green or blue for her top? Got a pastel green. Yeah, why not? Let's make her pastelly. Should I do the collar in a different color? Kind of think I should. How about the dark blue? Why not? Frame her face, so to speak. And we'll give her dark blue shoes. Why? Because I can. I'm trying to pull the blue from the, the words. I kind of want it in a couple different places. So. All right. Um, need the gray for the golf club. Yikes, got a little piece of clay. Came loose. Make the tea yellow. Mm. How about we do yellow for her earring too? It's almost kind of a gold. And then the hat, which I think should be the light blue also. And I think underneath Debating, debating. Don't want to leave it white. And I think I want to do the light green on the underside. 
Does it make sense? Probably not. Will it look okay? Maybe. Yeah, I like that. She's good. All right, let's go back to this guy. And I think we'll use the putty color for the golf bag. Wrong one. I kind of want to do the golf bag in dark green. That's what I'm feeling. Is my head totally in the shot, you guys? I'm sorry. I'm sure my hair's a mess. I just got out of the shower. I know you guys needed to know that. Totally information you needed. Yep, green golf bag. Because I want to do the putty color for the golf cart. Almost kind of a gold color, isn't it? Liking it. Liking it. Should I do the awning the same color? I think so. Is that what it's called? The awning? I don't even know. Yep. What do you guys think? Kind of liking it. Let's pull these back in. Probably gonna need to zoom out and then remember we have the shoes and the visor and the sunglasses and the gloves the little golf balls and the word four and then we have these guys remember And if I'm not in the shot, hang on a second. I'm going to stand up and check it here in just a minute. Let's see. Oh, oh sorry. Need to come down a little bit. And we need to go this way a little bit. Anyway, so there we go. There's what we've got done so far, you guys. Coming together. And then remember, this was the sticker set that was the original inspiration. Okay, so I think we're going to call this good. And on the next video, we're going to be... having lots of fun haha uh -huh. on the next video we'll be embedding buttons oops and all the little gold pieces that I pulled out into the clay so that was what wow tongue-tied that is what we'll be doing on the next video um, and then we also still have the leafing and the textured filler tiles to make and then I think we'll be ready to start putting it together so I think that's it for this video um, when I come back next time we'll be embedding into the clay and until then thank you so much for watching <laughs>